Physicists at CERN are cautiously analyzing bizarre new data that has emerged from their latest high-energy collider experiments. What initially appeared to be a routine set of results quickly escalated into something that even seasoned scientists found difficult to explain. Now, multiple teams are working intensively to investigate signals that defy the well-established principles of the standard model of particle physics. These patterns, detected deep within the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, don't align with any known behaviors predicted by classical physics or quantum field theory. While the phrase, tack unique rift, isn't recognized as an official term in research literature, it may reflect descriptions being used informally to characterize these mysterious phenomena. The root of this idea seems to trace back to strange signals detected during high-energy particle collisions that took place in CERN's underground tunnel, collisions that reached record-setting energy levels just last month. As the collider smashed particles at unprecedented velocities, detectors began logging irregular behaviors. Instruments like ATLAS and CMS registered a rising number of anomalies at higher energies, subtle irregularities that couldn't be traced back to instrumental noise or calibration errors. These disturbances appeared to suggest the involvement of something not accounted for by existing physics, possibly an unmeasured interaction hidden deep within the quantum fabric of reality. Dr. Laura Chen, head of CERN's Quantum Topology Group, described some of the particles as behaving as if they were momentarily touching an invisible domain inside the collider chamber. According to her, the strange disruptions could be indicative of a hidden dimension or a previously unknown aspect of spacetime. The concern isn't simply about the unexpected nature of these findings, but rather the consistency with which they appear across independent instruments and test conditions. One particularly unsettling observation involves the sudden and synchronized breaks in quantum symmetry, essentially, moments when the behavior of particles diverged sharply from expected norms across multiple sensors. These deviations suggest that something subtle, perhaps even structural, could be interfering with or modifying the properties of spacetime itself under extreme conditions. The broader scientific community is now faced with a fundamental question. Are these anomalies rare but natural quantum fluctuations, or are they glimpses into deeper, previously undetected layers of physical reality? If these irregularities stem from an unknown force or field, it might suggest that space-time, at its most foundational level, is more delicate and complex than previously understood. The speculative term, tachyonic field, may provide one possible key to this puzzle. Though tachyons are commonly associated with science fiction, Portrayed as particles that travel faster than light, the real physics concept is more nuanced. In theoretical models, a tachyonic field refers to a field with an imaginary mass, implying inherent instability. Such fields can act as a trigger in phase transitions, similar to how the Higgs field broke symmetry shortly after the Big Bang and gave mass to elementary particles. This isn't just theoretical window dressing. In string theory and related frameworks, tachyonic fields are significant because they hint at the underlying instability in certain states of the universe. Now, CERN's new data exhibits patterns that align with what a tachyonic instability might look like when recreated under extreme, controlled energy conditions, conditions strong enough to distort spacetime itself, even if momentarily. This wouldn't be the first time unexpected results from particle physics led to scientific upheaval. In 2011, the Opera Neutrino experiment reported what seemed like faster than light travel. That turned out to be a technical issue involving a loose cable, not a revolutionary discovery. However, the incident served as a stark reminder of how complex and delicate such measurements are, and how small errors can mimic breakthrough results. Today, however, the circumstances are different. CERN's anomalies have been observed repeatedly across different runs, energy levels, and experimental setups. Dr. Aisha Rahman of Cambridge University emphasized that the reproducibility and consistency of these signals are precisely what make them difficult to dismiss. This isn't random noise or machine error, she explained. The patterns are too systematic and too well distributed across multiple instruments to be ignored. Still, not everyone in the scientific community is convinced. Dr. Mail Sarakin, a skeptic and veteran detector physicist, argues that these anomalies might be emergent artifacts, 
byproducts of the collider's complexity rather than indicators of new physics. His team is conducting detailed simulations to test whether known interactions, statistical fluctuations, or software artifacts could produce similar patterns. Yet, despite their efforts, the strange consistency remains unexplained. If the source of these irregularities turns out to be a previously unknown component of the quantum field, the implications could be transformative. One of the most vital principles in modern physics, Lorentz symmetry, asserts that the laws of physics are the same regardless of orientation or relative velocity. While current data hasn't directly violated this symmetry, the anomalies are unsettlingly close to regions where that assumption might break down. Could these observations represent the emergence of subtle spacetime tears or distortions under extreme energy conditions? Some theoretical frameworks suggest it's possible. While tachyonic rift isn't standard terminology, there are real mathematical solutions in general relativity that point to structures like wormholes, hypothetical bridges through spacetime that could, in theory, leave behind signatures similar to what CERN is now detecting. Other speculative models, such as Brin world theories or certain variants of string theory, propose that our universe might shift shape or connect with higher dimensions under high energy influence. These ideas, once considered purely theoretical, now find surprising parallels in the data being collected at CERN. Dr. Jennifer Hang, a researcher focused on quantum gravity, argues that these aren't wild guesses but serious scientific attempts to unify gravity with quantum mechanics, a challenge that has eluded physicists since Einstein's time. According to her, the anomalies currently being studied could represent the first concrete hints of how these long-separated realms of physics might finally converge. Naturally, such revelations also attract public concern. Over the years, CERN has been at the center of numerous conspiracy theories, from opening portals to summoning black holes to causing the so-called Mandela effect. CERN officials have publicly denied all such claims, reiterating that the collider is safe and subject to extensive international review. Dr. Thomas Miller, a senior physicist at CERN, pointed out that cosmic rays, particles from space, regularly hit Earth with far greater energies than those produced in the collider, and they've never caused harm. Still, the uniqueness of the collider lies in its precision and control. These new anomalies are not naturally occurring. They emerge only in the extreme conditions generated within the collider's engineered environment. And that's what makes them scientifically compelling. So why are CERN scientists still poring over this data weeks later? Because persistence in research often points to real substance. If these phenomena withstand scrutiny, they may not only challenge existing physics, but expand our understanding of the universe's true architecture. As Dr. Michio Kaku has frequently observed, our current models, while successful in many ways, are ultimately incomplete. Surprises are not just possible at high energies, they're expected. After all, the standard model of particle physics has no explanation for dark matter, dark energy, or how gravity fits into quantum frameworks. Even mainstream physicists acknowledge that just one verified anomaly could catalyze a paradigm shift. These moments, when strange signals refuse to go away, often mark the beginning of revolutionary breakthroughs. CERN's latest observations may not point to literal rifts in reality. But they could signal profound transitions, a fleeting vacuum instability, or a glimpse into a deeper energy landscape that shifts the behavior of spacetime under stress. It's possible that the collider has reached an energy threshold analogous to the one that revealed quantum mechanics at the atomic scale a century ago. Perhaps what's unfolding now is the next chapter in our effort to peel back the layers of the universe. Just as Henri Becquerel's accidental discovery of radioactive decay in fogged photographic plates opened the door to quantum physics, these new anomalies at CERN might open doors we didn't know existed. Whatever the outcome, this is how science advances, not with certainty, but with questions that refuse to be ignored.